Okay, biggest movie controversy of all time. Could Jack have fit on that door at the end? Oh Titanic. my gosh, I thought it. I remember bawling my eyes out when I was I have no girl comment. Being <laughs> That's telling, I think. That is the biggest controversy, I what, think. Whatever. In, in modern cinema in, in ever. history. Can you, can you, can you squeeze in it? You know, <laughs> yeah. No comment. Right? <laughs> Did you mention it at the time? We like, should it's, we make the door smaller? So like I said, I have no comment. <laughs> it's movie magic, it's my controversial. friend. Movie magic. <laughs>this movie is amazing. It's, uh, you, you've probably heard this before, but it is definitely a, a love letter to movies, movie going, movie making, the unsung heroes that make movies. Television, LA. There's a lot there. But what I would really want to do with you guys is, because I feel like all four of us are big movie fans, is let's revel in our love of movies for mm. a second, okay? Mm. What's the movie that you grew up with that made you obsessed with movies? What was the first movie that mm. got you obsessed? East of Eden. All right, James Dean. Well, the first film that I remember seeing was uh, the black and white original King Kong with my dad downtown and bursting into tears and mm -hmm. falling in love with movies at that point. But when I, you know, got to become an actor, it was watching that very vulnerable James Dean in East of Eden who just blew me away. Yeah. Blew me away. The first movie I remember being my favorite movie that I watched like 50 times over. Uh, was Robin Hood Men in Tights and <laughs> I was like five and it was kind of inappropriate of a movie for a five-year-old to watch every day That's but really I funny. loved it. it was... That's really funny. For me it was the drive-in. We would see films at the drive-in mm -hmm. early age and it was. It was the ones that made me cry. It was Gargantuan. Gargantuans? Gargantuans. Uh -huh. It was a good gargantuan, bad gargantuan. Don't remember it. No. It's, you, it's, <laughs> only Quentin would know about it. And the good one has to sacrifice himself to take out the bad one. Tears, and then I went straight from that to Butch and Sundance. Mm. Mm. And then the ending, tears again. Mm. There's a great moment in the film where your character Sharon sees her face and name on a poster, on a marquee, and on a big screen. Do you remember that moment for you guys, like when the first time you saw your name or face, mm. and was that a big moment? I do. It was parenthood, and on the Warner Brothers lot, there was a big poster of me, and I stood there for hours and had my mother take. <laughs> 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 Sir, you're gonna have to leave. Good on you for admitting. <laughs> <laughs> there was a poster of Pan Am in Times Square, and I remember like I had just gotten to America, and now I'm in Times Square, and I'm like 30 feet high up there, and it was so. I remember asking someone to take a picture of me. <laughs> I was like, oh, could you, could you take a picture of me? Like, I'm gonna stand right here. And I kept cropping out the post and I kept having to be like, no, I need it. I need that, all of that in there. That's the point of the picture. And they're like, why? And I was like, I just need it in there, please. That's sweet. That's a little Sharon Tate going to see yeah, film. Is there a classic movie that you would be sad to admit right now you've never seen? Gone I've with seen. the Wind. What? You've never seen Gone I've never seen Gone with the Wind, either. Are you serious? You I guys have never well, seen Oh my God. You have an excuse. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> Yeah. Gone with the Wind or Sound of Music, I've never seen. I have I never figured. seen Sound of Music. What? <laughs> I figure, have okay. you seen it? I've never seen it. Like a thousand wow. times. I, I remember when we did Wolf of Wall Street, you would get angry at me all the time. Every time I'd mention any movie I hadn't seen, he'd be like, how have you not seen Citizen Kane? How can you work in this industry and not have seen Citizen Kane? I'm like, I just got here to this industry. Like, you don't have time to watch this stuff. And then I went home and I'd go watch Scissor Kane and watch all the movies. He's like, you have to see this. You have I figure to see I've, this. I've gone this long. Now you are now. I'm going all the way. I'm, I've never I'm, seen I'm, any I Star Wars. To see it now. And, and I kind of don't watch it now just because it infuriates people so much. Like, how? How have you never watched any? <laughs> any Star Wars, and I just kind of want to see how long I can make it now. Let's go deep. Some, some big <laughs> movie-going existential or profound controversies over the years, and one that struck me watching the movie. Sharon puts her feet up, her bare feet up, on a seat in a movie theater. And they're dirty. Well, yeah, I don't even care if they're dirty, man. I mean... <laughs> dirty feet. <laughs> dirty feet. Quentin likes How dirty. dare you, dirty feet. <laughs> but is that ever appropriate in a movie theater for someone's bare feet to be put on in a seat? In the 60s it sure was, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't. I wouldn't know. It's a know. good question. <laughs> I did think about it. I was like, does this? I don't want to convey that she's rude or impolite because she's neither of those things. If you had the space, if you don't have neighbors close by, no I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's okay. Okay. Maybe not shoes it's right. anyway. It's not shoes. Right. It's just your feet. Right. Uh, Larry David may have a problem with that. But they were still. dirty. They were dirty feet. <laughs>